Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today we have Manuela Manzambi, who's a third year medical student and also a YouTuber. I hope you enjoy this video as she shares her journey to medicine. Hey guys, my name is Manuela and I'm a third year medical student studying at the University of Pretoria. I'm just going to um, showcase my journey to medicine with you um, by reading a bunch of questions that I was asked by CTLM. I hope you enjoy. So, question number one. Take us back to Manuela back in high school. What type of student were you? How well did you pass in matric? And um, what challenges did you face getting into medicine from matric? Manuela in high school was an average student. Um, I did not get my 80s and my 70s as opposed to my peers. I was basically just a normal average student. So I would get my normal 60s in maths. My physics were 50s actually. So getting into medicine was seemed very far-fetched. It actually really seemed like a dream more than a reality. So no, I was not the typical A student and I personally, through my marks, didn't qualify to study medicine. What type of students, okay, I already explained that. Um, how well did you pass at the end of your matric? So in matric, um, I got 58% for maths and 59% for physics. And um, through those marks, I wasn't able to get into medicine. And because I never, I got rejected from every university I applied because of my marks. And therefore, I didn't have, because I only wanted to do medicine, I didn't have any acceptance to study medicine at a university. So because of my marks, I had to upgrade. I upgraded my marks for a year. Then after upgrading my marks for a year, I managed to get 79% in um, physics and 78% in maths. And those marks allowed me to study BSc Mathematics at Medunsa. So I hope that explains everything. Um, what challenges did you face trying to get into medicine after matric? I faced a lot of challenges because I did say that I had to upgrade my marks. Um, and I had to do BSc Mathematical Science to get into medicine. So the road to get into medicine was not an easy road, but I do believe that through resilience you can achieve anything you set your mind on achieving. So um, it's through that resilience that I was able to study medicine. What course did you do prior to medicine? I studied BSc Mathematics. Um, that's what I... Yeah, that's basically what I studied um, before medicine. How was the experience doing that course? So, um, because the end goal was medicine, in that course, in that degree, my mindset completely changed. Um, I started seeing myself as somebody who was capable of achieving anything she had set her mind to. Meaning that I was able to see medicine, I was able to believe that I can be that A student, that I can achieve um, the distinctions that any other person can. So in my first year of studies, I was so committed to getting distinctions and I was always just surrounded by people who are also aiming towards those same distinctions and I remember just being... Um, and an A student in a, in a sense of always being in the library, always studying towards that goal and through that time I was actually able to really do well in my first year of studying and that actually transpired through the rest of my years in studying. Um, sorry, please share how did you, how, how was your average from first to third year? So in first year, my average was 75%. Um, so that's a really great job because I was studying BSc Mathematics. So that means that I basically got 70 and higher for the programs that I was, the modules that I was doing. In my second year, 
my average jumped to uh, 77 percent 77 to yeah I think 77 percent that's how my average was in in, in second year um, first semester in second semester my average was 80 percent and um, in third year my average was 90 percent so I really did well in my BSc mathematics and that is how I was able to graduate with a BSc cum laude and that's how I was able to get into medicine. Advice, study tips for someone doing the same course, BSc mathematics. I think um, the best advice I would give you is to be focused. Um, believe yourself. Believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, even if your dream is not to become a doctor. Believe in what you have set your mind on achieving. Um, believe that you are able to be the very best at what you do. Because when I studied BSc Mathematics, that was my only goal, to be the very best at what I do. I really wanted to be the student that is the very best. Um, not in terms of comparing myself to anyone, but comparing myself to my past. So I knew that I was the student that got 50% in high school. I knew that. So I had to prove that to myself that I was capable of achieving anything I had set my mind to. And I was capable of getting those distinctions too. So to me it was so important to be the very best at what I do. And that is what my focus was. So that's the same advice I'd give anyone. Focus, be disciplined. Um, discipline pays off, focus pays off. And just don't sell yourself short. I hope that helps. And last question says, advice to anyone trying to still get into medicine. I think the mistake that we make in life is believing that something is too unattainable for us. And that is the mistake that I had made in matric. I do believe that should I had seen medicine as a goal from grade 10, I would have attained towards that. But because I only realized I wanted to become a doctor in matric and my marks were only 58 and 59%, it seemed far off. It seemed unattainable. And only when I had set my mind on that was I able to achieve the dream that I had set out for myself. So any advice that I would give you is, it's possible. I don't really care even if you're getting 40% in maths. It is possible. You do not have to be that A student at this very moment. But you have to aim towards that. Because that is the only mark that will allow you to get into medicine. And you can do it. If other people can do it, so can you. I don't see why someone can become a doctor and you can't. So it is achievable, it is attainable. And yeah, you can do it. You can truly, truly do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. Um, please do follow me on YouTube um, at Manuela Manzambi. And yeah, thank you guys for having me.